What up, YouTube? It's your boy, AQ. And let me just say thanks to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the STC fam. We are on the road to 100K subscribers right now. So if you guys appreciate the content, just show some love and like and subscribe. All right, let's get into the video. Can you date somebody I think they the prize? No, I mean, the man is always the prize. Remember that. You, they try to say happy wife, happy life. A happy man is God's plan. Reach it, brother Teddy. You are a godsend. So, and, and for all the brothers that's watching this, you gotta always make sure you go where you celebrate it, not, not tolerate, tolerate it, right? But in order to go where you celebrate it, not tolerate it, you gotta celebrate yourself, mm -hmm. right? How you think creates how you feel, how you feel becomes an emotion, that emotion becomes a vibration, that vibration becomes a magnet that attracts things to you. So what you put out is gonna come back to you. So once you're on that vibration of celebrating yourself, the bitches that's gonna tolerate you are gonna run from you. Because you're not gonna attract them, you're gonna repel them. You ain't never lying. You ain't never lying. Oh hi. The story is about being ghosted at 40. Yeah. So once upon a time I was on an app called Hinge. I'm no longer on that app and I will not be going back. I've deleted it. So I matched with this person when I was on the app and we were chatting, we exchanged numbers and we're texting back and forth. It's casual. He's definitely giving him here for a good time, not a long time. I was just like, mm, I don't think that's what I'm here for. I'm not, not that I don't think that's not what I'm here for. Uh, and I decided to text him one more time, which was a little bit stupid on my end. But I was just like, hey, how are you? And I don't hear back from him. I'm like, well, why did we exchange numbers in the first place? Why? The conversation on the app was better than these boring text messages. Anyways, so I don't hear from him. And basically, I got ghosted. Surprise! Not just surprise, because it happens so often. And granted, I've done the same. I've definitely ghosted people in my past. So maybe this was my little piece of karma. I get it. But I've done better in the most recent months, to be honest, because I just don't think it's responsible to ghost people anymore, especially at the age of 40. So, yeah, moved on, let it go. That's it. Hopefully thinking this is the end. No, it's not the end. I'm walking on my street. And I see this guy look, who looks real familiar, like really familiar. And I was like, why does he look so familiar? I'm like, oh my God, I think he's the same person from the app slash text message slash ghost. I was like, oh my God. I was like, no, I don't think so. I, I was like second guessing myself, like talking myself out of it. I was like, mm, I'm really resentful right now. I'm really jaded. Maybe I'm just making up things. Maybe I'm crazy. Gaslighting myself. Well, let it go. Moved on. A few weeks later, fast forward to today. I decide to go run an errand after like 6 p.m. And I see this guy turn the corner onto the same street that I'm walking, on the same side that I'm walking. And I see him, I'm like, oh, that's the same guy. And I'm like wearing a hat, thankfully, but I'm giving him like death eyes. Cause I'm like, is it him? We're far from each other. This man clocks me, crosses the street immediately. Like as if he's like walking a dog and he knows I'm scared. I don't know. He crosses the street, walks on the other side. I remain on my side and I'm like, what is happening? We pass each other. I look back to see if it was him or not. Like, I'm still like, what did I just see what I thought I saw? Well, I look back and the man crosses back onto the same side of the street, same side of the street as me. I was like, did he just ghost me in real life? Like, is it, he just is like, yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a coward. He's a coward. Yeah. So, yeah. Dating in Toronto is very difficult. Dating late 30s, early 40s, not easy. Um, when you claim that you're a lawyer, you should think that you'd be great at communication, but obviously you're not. And, yeah. That's it. That's the end of the story. Wish me luck, everyone. Wish me luck in this non-dating life that I'm choosing now. Okay, bye. Don't nobody but broke niggas and motherfuckers who got out of jail want a fat bitch. <laughs>
<laughs> Man, what a stalker, bro. Fellas, this is why I tell you dudes, fam, keep away from dating apps, bro. These are the types of women who are on those apps. Desperate women. Now, the guy goes to the initially, right? Now, instead, you will think a person will move on. Okay, he's not into me. Let me move on. She's seen the man outside and staring him down. Like, that's just the worst, man. But, fellas, these are the types of women that you're going to deal with on dating apps, bro. So, keep away from dating apps because the only types of women on there are desperate, low-hanging fruits, fam. And that's just the reality. After catching the bouquet, she was asked to look for her kind of man, and this happened. Oh, it all makes sense now. So basically, this guy legit spent money on this chick or made it rain on this chick just to get her number. And basically, she was looking for her type of guy. Her type of guy is a man who's willing to spend money on her. And immediately, this dude starts spending money on her wow and i believe this was i'm not quite sure i believe this was in nigeria <laughs> yo that's what y'all doing over there man mm -mm -mm. that's crazy but if that's how y'all doing it man i can, hey that shit is wild bro these dudes over there are feeding the birds and no wonder no wonder fam these birds be flucking to these nigerian cats man and show some my nigerian dudes man but I see why now. <laughs> Y'all have no problem feeding the birds, man. This shit is crazy. Excuse me, like, why are we here? What? Why are we at Chick-fil-A? What do you mean? Like, do I look like a Chick-fil-A as girl to you? Like, why are we at Chick-fil-A? Shit's insane. You, you want me to be completely honest with you? What do you mean be honest? Like, it's fast food. Like, I, I, I'm not, I'm it's not, not eating just fast this shit. food. It's Chick Fil A. It's like peak fast food. Come on now. Okay, but it's our first date, so it's like, not why? A date. I oh was God. going to go get food, and I asked if you wanted to come with. This, and this is where I happen to be going. Y'all, this motherfucker is broke. So like, now I'm broke. He's broke. Now I'm broke. Okay, I make yeah, more money than your you're stepfather. Broke. So like, now what? You're broke. Be a real you're man. Your stepfather that pays for everything. Okay, be a real man and you're take it to another place. You're trying to tell me to be a real man. Yeah, and, you're and not your a real, real man. Your real father's not even in your real life. So, like, that's, what are we talking about? Oh, my about? God. That's disrespectful as hell. Like, it could be disrespectful. Do you want to get food or not? No, I'm not eating this shit. It's some broke people shit. I'm it's broke eating, people shit. I'm not eating this it's, shit. It's okay. broke people shit. Right. And you're rude. Right. Fucking broke ass. 
Uh, take me home, bro. Take me I'll, home. I'm getting my food first. You're bugging. Like, take uh, you're really eating this homophobic ass chicken. Yo, bro, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cancel that bitch. I'll buy it. <laughs> Calling a man broke who's driving an M4 is crazy. But fella, this right here is nothing but a hungry bird. And this is exactly how you treat a bird like a bird. Don't let these women give y'all orders, bro. Don't let these chicks tell y'all what to do, especially when you're the one who's spending money on her, when you're the one who's sponsoring her free meal. And Shorty is pretty much who she is, and he pretty much had to expose her. Her real father is not even in her real life. She lives with a stepfather. And you will think that women like that will be more humble. But a lot of times, bro, and I'm just keeping it real, whenever a woman, a real father is not in her real life, she lean closer towards the pole. I'm just keeping it real. And the bottom line is this, fellas. Treat a bird like a bird, man. And don't tolerate no type of disrespect from these women. If you invite her to a spot to get something to eat and she don't want that, that's on her. Take her ass back home. But this is how you handle a situation like this, fellas. Hey, your name is what? My name's Jada. 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 And how old are you? Nineteen. Yeah, I'm from Philly. You know what I mean? Okay, good. Philly in the house. So what? What city is? So Philadelphia is. It's, it's like what state is that? It's Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You know, Okay. And how long you been out here for? Um, I've been out here for like two months. You like Houston? So what made you come to Houston? If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. Y'all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.